this map is always weird because there's so much open space so it plays very differently from a lot of other maps i actually kind of like it but it is very different i think are they not putting a one here that's what you normally do you can go for three penny points from the get-go i guess they're also doing that normally kazura is out here because it's more important to contest the middle points but i guess this is fine too I could actually just play as a bachelor there, but I don't think I will do that. I almost want to go Ibi here, but it's a bit weird if he just takes both of these then, I think. Or is it? Like if he takes both of these and plays a Hevo here, then it's kind of awkward all of a sudden. It's probably better to just go for Unicorn as per usual. That unit is used almost every time on this map. Because this feels almost like two small maps at the same time rather than one large map. It's kind of weird to describe it that way, but it's like there it's almost like there's two maps here instead of one, but they're just smaller maps. It's because there's so much open space. Even on larger maps there's usually so many obstacles and like corners that you never go to and the sides that you ignore and stuff, so the map is like smaller but here it's all of it you are walking on and all of it feels somewhat relevant which makes it a little bit different from what i usually see i've been seeing a good bunch of people go with suntide recently i don't know why i think this unit is pretty terrible to be honest don't really get it Just go for 2.0 here. Seems like a easy point to go for it. We also kind of threaten this now. These two are very easy to kill. He went both of those. Don't think that will work out very well for them. But I have to be honest. I mean, I kind of can't go for these corners yet, because these will hit me if I do that with the 2.0, but I think it's fine. Maybe I should have summoned it down here and then moved the cowboy up here so I could actually threaten this. But then that also opens me up to some stuff, so it's not necessarily better. This is a bad idea though, I think. Why is there rich apples in the game? This unit is not good on this map. It's not good in most cases in my opinion. I think this is a bad unit. But yeah, I don't know why he's using an underlevel version of that on the map where it's really bad because there's not really any reason to go for it here. Can't say I understand that. They're clearly taking a lot of points here to try and your damage to my heart. I guess I have to sacrifice some of these one keys so that I don't end up getting too injured. I don't want to lose from heart health, that would be pretty annoying. Do we just go for another hero? I mean he has a ray so I'm slightly like the sense of ice to go for that could just go quagmire to be honest or a four key even i think i'll actually 
I was gonna say K9000, but then you'll kill it with a ray, maybe. What's a good unit to put down here on this tile? Bachelor is actually pretty fine. Because he's not gonna kill the Bachelor with this. Then this will die to anything that I summon, pretty much. And then we can throw an Inoculus in here. Maybe the Inoculus should be here, because then I have another unit that can reach this. I think that's better. You also want to take these middle points more so than you want to take any of these. Because they can't instantly retake these, but they can just put a one key on these whenever they want to. So make sure to take the middle points first if it makes sense to do. Why is everything suddenly moving so quickly? I guess they like disconnected for a second and then they reconnected and started doing stuff or something. Or they did all that while their internet was off for a second and then it just moved very quickly. Don't know what exactly was going on there. Anyway, I'm definitely killing this thing. There's no reason to not just straight up murder that. And I will also push this away. Just because that makes sense to do here. Put this closer here so we are protecting this even more. Move this up here. And then we want something to stand down here, I guess. Could just be a ginch thing or something. Maybe it's Eevee actually. I kind of want to go Eevee here. I think Eevee is pretty good on this map because you can place them in a lot of good places. Even though it's a very open map, just putting them on panic points can be very annoying. If the opponent doesn't have one keys that will survive it and you you kind of have these like choke points here so despite it like being a very open map which is normally very bad for poison navy you can put them in these choke points and it gets pretty annoying and also like like there's sort of these two lines here that you fight over a lot like you don't want ivy traps in the middle most of the time but putting them like in these three or four tiles on each side of, side of the map is not really that bad because if they go for slow unit it will step in it if they go for unit and put it here which is pretty common since you might have a unit standing here then they will also step in it so there's a lot of good stuff you can do with that it also works well with putting them on these tiles if you think they will walk onto them with one keys that won't live get the attractor here Tractor is pretty damn good here, I think. For him. It's a strong choice. But then again, a tractor is always a strong choice. Let's be honest here. You never go a tractor and go, oh man, I should have. I mean, you sometimes wanted to go for something else, but usually it's just because of your own fault if you lose with a tractor. Because that unit is really, really, really good. Guess I will go for my own since they went for it. Could actually place this down here. Then it looks like I placed a trap here, so he can't really jump and then go back. I mean, he can, but then he would have to guess that I didn't place a trap under it, which is. That's a tough choice to make. He could go all the way back here. Guess that would be safe, but then I'm just going to heal this, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, he's going back there because he knows there's no trap there. Doesn't really matter to me if I take a bit of damage on the Eevee though. 
since the spots in the corner is here. You can also hunt this very easily if it doesn't go heal it. This is a very easy unit to kill if it's sitting at 500 health. Then it's a one hit instead of two hits. I'm guessing he wants to snipe one of these two. That's why he has both of these in here. That's at least what it looks like right now. I could just summon a lot of smaller phobies, or, or I mean two smaller phobies, and then fight him here. I think I can just kill this maybe and do something like this. Put this here with a trap in front. Do I want to move this here? I have to block if I do that. But I kind of want to block up here, maybe. I think it's fine to block here, actually. Just put a boomer in front of it. Makes stuff pretty annoying for him. Also, maybe I just sit here. Put a trap next turn. That might be better than going back and healing. And then we want something strong over here. It might just be Jin's thing, to be honest. Oh, I can place a unit here, but then it has to be a tangy thing. Like a misanthrope, maybe. Okay, that's actually bad. Don't know why I would go that when he has a ray. I'd probably go for something better than that. That was just the first thought, because I often use that as a super tank. I guess I can just go for both of the can't get pulled units. He can kill the Noclos very easily here, but that won't work out for him. Like, if he pulls that into lava, all his other units are just gone. We're actually using two of the stationary units here, so he can't, uh, can't pull these in a very good way at least. He can of course kill that pretty easily, but then you're using your pulls on a 2 key, so I'm not really worried about that. Because I have this up now, so I can actually push him in if I want to. I think both of these die if he stays here with them. And also if I want to kill them, of course. pretty well but I'm not sure if this is well enough to be honest I might just be able to pull him with a tractor here okay they are also going for stationary stuff makes sense but now this is going to die pretty sure if I want it to die It's pulled there. That's really weird. Anyway, neither of those have. What's it called? Neither of those units have a uh, pull up right now, so this is perfectly fine for me. Do we trap there? I think I just trap in this point. That's looking pretty annoying. If I do that. Put this here. Do I want a flying unit? I think I do. Just because I can place something here. That's pretty good. Neither of the pulls up right now, so I'm not afraid of him at all. Like, these two units are not really threatening at all without the pulls up. This is just a worse inoculus, and this is... Like... <laughs> this is nothing without the pull, really. It's just a poison unit. And I don't care if these get, spo get poisoned. If I kill a 5 key for that. And I will just heal it with a muffin. 
And I don't think there's any way for him to kill this either. Even with a ray out that does like 850 to it, it's still far away away. Like it's 1500 health still. Even after that, nothing else can reach it. So all of these units are kind of just safe right now. Could maybe kill this with a jump from the Kazuary and some other damage, but then I'm going to really hurt his other units a lot. So that's not gonna turn out well for them either. That's dead if it goes there. You can just hit it twice with this and once with this. Take the point also. It's not strong enough. He needs multiple units here. But if he does that, he's more vulnerable to this one's AoE, so that's kind of a loss loss kind of thing. Free units here, but they're not completely free. Maybe I shouldn't do that though. Maybe it's better to just go all in. I think it might be better to just go all in on these now that I look at it. This actually only needs to attack once this noxious will attack here. Then we can take this point also. I still want to kill this, I think, just because then I can take every point on the map. And this is poisoned anyway, so it's kind of dying. Of course that means we can't kill it, but I mean who cares? Just hit it once. Hit it twice with this maybe, because we kind of want it to die. We might be able to kill the noxious here, but that's not a big deal. He needs to retreat with this all the way down here, which means he needs to move his Attract out of the way to heal it, and then that's kind of bad for him. And I have all of the points, so he's dead in like two turns. If he's not doing anything here. Yeah, his Rockus needs to die. It can't do anything other than die to the poison here. Which means he's unable to take any of these penny points also. He can't reach this side, so he has to go to this side, but then he has to move the attractor. And then he can't kill the noxious and like just gets worse. <laughs> worse and worse for him. Guess he can kill both of these. Maybe. He didn't use the attack on this yet, right? I think he can attack this. But yeah, that's still just game over. I don't know why they went for Gesundheit and Microscopic here. The Rage Archers were also really bad and Bad Omen died for free, so they're just very behind now. But I don't understand this. I mean, I can kind of see how they want them sitting here so they can control these middle points. But those units are just way too vulnerable. You can't play with those. If you want something that can stand and be annoying so that the opponent can't take these points, you just want to go for a normal turret like Stabiable Mangles. It's much better. In my opinion, at least. Oh, I should actually hit that first. Then I can just kill all of this, I think. Or at least all of the ones that matter. Push this into lava, maybe. That doesn't I don't know why I thought that would go into lava. It goes the other way. Obviously. <laughs> Either way, this kills a lot of stuff. Kills all everything actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they went for those units. Don't do that. Those units are pretty bad, except for a very small amount of maps. Like, I think Gesundheit is bad on every map in the game, to be honest. I think it's pretty damn terrible. As for Microscopic, there's like one or two maps where you can go for it. There is the... what's it even called? 
It's the one with the weird name where it's like a phobia of clowns. Chorophobia, I think it's called. Let me just find it. If I can. This map here. Here microscopic is good as a defensive unit since you can go over here to this tile and then go down here to this uh what's it called? Stim pad, which will allow you to protect this and protect your heart most importantly. It's not the best defensive option. I th actually think that going for oh, what's it called? The six key that heals. I do actually forgot its name. Alaster, I believe it's called. I don't own it on this account. Uh, Lester, I actually think, is a very, very good unit to defend with on that map. Although it does cost a bit more, so Microscopic is easier to go for. But Microscopic is fine there. I've used it a lot on that map. It's just not usable on almost any other map because it's way too easy to kill. It does get 50 health with the next balanced update, but I don't think that will change that fact. still think it will be too easy to kill to take it over Stabby or Boom Angles most of the time doesn't really give you enough other th like the upside isn't large enough to take that unit over one of the turrets here like yeah this is a lot of damage and yes it gains flying but like compare the health here that's a big deal that you're losing that much health for like 200 attack not even i know these aren't equal level it's probably a bit more than 200 attack but that's still not worth it your unit just like it doesn't matter if you do a lot of damage if you are not alive <laughs> There's no point in that. You're just going to get whacked out if you go for all of these squishy high damage units.